Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation. Uh, in the last episode we got up to tools, right, on our new sort of production line. Yes, there we go, our blacksmith is assigned to create tools. Whether he, uh, well, whether they are, we have a male and a female in there, whether they are is another matter. Uh, 23 tools sat there, good, 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 good. So, uh, that means I think we could, the last thing we need then is... Uh, is a is is a weaponsmith. Now I'm thinking um, this is going to be weird. We built all this new stuff up here. I'm actually thinking that we build the weaponsmith over here by the um, by the sort of fort area, right? Because I'm thinking maybe that might be a it, it would suit. It's away from the town. Um, I think that's what we might do. So let's have a look. Uh, weaponsmith. Let's just check. Produces sword in exchange for iron. Coal and tools. Now I'm just wondering, is there anyone who's buying swords? Yes, yeah, sword for 25 there. That's good because I've got a feeling we don't need many of these, right? Um, sword in exchange for iron, coal, and tools. Uh, it costs 50 to maintain. Uh, polished stone, planks, and tools. Yeah, there's no reason why we can't throw this right down. And I do think that it, it'll work nicely as part of um, as part of the of the fort here, which will eventually become the the sort of entrance to the town. And one thing I have noticed is that they've they've started sort of coming round here now if they need to, which it's fine. I'd rather them not, but uh, yeah, I yeah, if that happens, I suppose that that happens. Um, ideally, what I really wanted to do uh, is take the. Uh, the bread production, out, the, the wheat production, excuse me, out of the city. Because one thing I, a lot of time, I mean, you see, you play these other games that have these vast sort of cities, like Witcher 3 and um, all those kind of things, you know, these sort of fantasy games. They have the farms are sort of outside of the city walls, you know. Um, so that's what I was thinking of doing eventually. And also it would get get the farms off the beach, which is something I've never been really happy about, if I'm completely honest. Um, but for now, yeah, we'll have that there and hopefully... Uh, see, they're coming in. They just, they're just like smacking it right now, which is no good. We need to get them uh, definitely somewhere to go. Um, one thing I want to do is try and get them away from just sort of standing here. Outside. This seems a bit silly. I wonder if there's a way we can sort of move them around. Let's have a look. There are currently six. We have six. Um, there's people. Four of them are living there. Uh, so we can, here we go, we can make treasury or dorms, so we might as well make all this treasury. Gives us more of a money pot. That's all we can do there. I thought, I did think there might have been a way to move people around, but no, that's fine. Um, okay, they can just sort of stand outside the steps. It looks a bit funny, but, you know, it is what it is. So when that gets built, hopefully we'll have some, um... Uh, weapons coming in. In the meantime, I, th I suppose whilst we've got some cash and whilst people are pretty happy and whilst we have a pretty good stockpile of everything apart from glass um, and there's also a couple of lines that we aren't producing yet that we get from the monastery. Um, so whilst we have a few, uh, well we have a little bit of a downtime I guess, I wonder if we can maybe look at making the place look a little nicer because um, you know, it, it is what it is, for the most part. We have done some work, but really, all of these little sort of pathing areas here, we really should start to think about making these look a little bit nicer. So, um, we've got gates. Uh, I don't really think any of these are going to be suitable there. We have the sheep statue. We've obviously put those down. We have fence, arches, and road signs. So, um, I think part of the... Uh, market here is these benches. I know, I know they're not really, they're not going to be a market. But I just think these little spots like this, we should really kind of make them, make them look a little nicer and stuff. Okay, so all these little spots. So, because these are, these paths are, are all sort of procedurally uh, generated. But what I'd like to make it look as if we've, as if we've kind of picked that's where um, that's where stuff's going. So I'm going to place a, a decorative, a nice decorative tree there as well. That will slowly grow up, will glow up. I guess there we go. They're coming in to build the bits they need to do. 
There's little things like that, I think. It says market. I mean, we can click that and select market there, but I don't think that's going to matter too much that it that it isn't truly a market. Um, we could maybe get this uh, building back to where it was. So if we go to edit, um, we had a blue roofed... Um, is it an extension A? Oh, no, it's got a... I think it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So we had one of those on there. I guess we can... Shift it round ourselves. There. And that has kind of sat in there, has it? Let's have a look. Oh, we've actually gone up one with it. Right, there we go. Um, and we'll take it back to there. I realise I haven't done that properly with that one, but we'll take that back to there. That'll be nice and neat. Um, a tower or something on there. I don't think we 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 just want capacity really. Uh, extension. I th I think extension is is advancing capacity, but for the most part, there's very little. Uh, there's not very little reason to do it. We also took things off like these gargoyles, despite them not actually uh, costing anything. We did we did take a few of these off. Uh, so he was telling me in the last episode why we have gargoyles. Apparently, it's to scare actual demons away. You know, believing that. Actual demons are a thing. That was quite cool. Uh, we already have a cross on the roof. Let's put a cross on the back as well. We want to make this grandiose. And we'll put these archways back in as well. Because we took these down. We we're all trying to wait, make ways of saving money. While we um, while we weren't particularly making much. But these can go back in there. And really sort of finish off the, uh, the spot there. There we go. So we'll say start construction on that. I'm also going to do a couple more decorative bits, decorative tree there, um, and uh, oh, and I tell you what else I wanted to do is put down some of the old. Uh... Oh, we don't have them there. That's interesting. Can we go to rustic church then? Because what I would like to do is place down some graves. There we go. Some of those here. Um, a couple over here. Too far? Too far from what? There we go. And maybe a couple of wooden ones, although obviously they are—they do look a little less uh, permanent. But I still think they just break it up quite nicely. Uh, oh, so that's annoying. We can't actually put those down unless we're at the rustic church. Because we don't have the, the key things it needs. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. We'll clear that out then. I would like to see then, devs, if you're watching. I don't know whether they do, but if they are, I would like to see either all that sort of stuff added to decorative. All of those little odd bits we can place down added to decorative. Or um, or have them available for, for, both, uh, for both churches there. Okay, so that's the church getting sort of back up to where it was. The wall itself really doing much. Okay. All right. So that's the, that church back up and running. I suppose this one down here probably isn't looking all that. No, this could we could definitely make this look a little nice. So we have a few graves down on the on the uh, the beach there, but that that doesn't look very good, does it? Let's go into here. So what walls have we got? Small stone wall. Okay, we've got a wooden wall. We have a large stone wall, my goodness. We have a hedge. And we have a, a tavern wall. That's just a nice one with a roof on. So I think for a rustic uh, church, it's going to be a hedge. So I'll bring that round here. I'm going to make it like this. I'm actually going to make it so that it curves. I'll do that in a moment. here there we go so uh, toggle wall curving left click on the section there we go that's what we wanted to do not that one those ones please there we go and then these can have a big big old curve around as well oops lovely 
Okay, so we're going to come in this one. We're going to parts it up, and we're going to come down to the uh, we're going to come down to these and get rid of them all. I know they I know they add to splendor and what have you, but we're going to replace them in more suitable situations. So we'll have one there, one there. I do realise that we are sort of on uh, on the beach almost here, but. You know, you got to work with what you got, right? And we are a little bit limited on space. There we go. Okay, and then a few of those just to offer up a bit of variation. And I reckon we are... Uh, done. There we go. Start construction. And then we'll have a few of those lovely decorative trees around. Uh, maybe one down the bottom here. And maybe two. Actually, no, we'll do a tree and some bushes down here. Is that... There we go. Make the place look nice. Good stuff. So there's our one chair. I kind of like to sort of box them in a little bit like that. Just to give them a bit more space. I know that it kind of goes against the freeform nature of the buildings. But actually, do you know what? What I think I might do is let's come here. Let's uh, let's make this a bit more. Oops. Okay. Let's make this a bit more. Can we shift? Shift and left click. Okay, let's just start from over here. So if we come out the wall from here, there we go. There we go. We can curve these. Oops. Left click to toggle wall curving, yeah. Can we not curve brick walls? Alright. Well even still, I think that's that's uh, a sensible thing to do. Um actually let's do something like this as well. And just make it so that it looks like these bits of green are part of the building. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, I've got an idea. Uh, how do we delete a bit? Control is delete. There we go. If we come up here like so. There we go. We can make all of this here. It would explain where this green bit's gone. Now, ideally, some more decorative pieces that we can... That we could pop into these builds would be would be superb. Like I say, I mean the obvious one there well, that would be for a gravestone, right? A graveyard that'd be great. Uh, but we don't have much we can put in them, unfortunately. I mean maybe a maybe a well that's more sort of it's just for show, you know. Put a well down there that's for show, and. See, I know that a lot of people are interested in this kind of building. My lord, there is prediction of bad weather coming. I recommend we stockpile as much food as we can whilst the weather is good. Very well. Okay, so what we need to do there then now is pause the game, come up to trade here, and no longer trade out any food. So no berries, um, no bread, no where's fish, no fish. Which is pretty much all that people are, uh, are eating anyway. And then we're going to come into uh, the food one here and stock maximum of all of these. Okay, now I think like some will still go to the markets and that's fine. But we want to build up the uh, the stock because that's what did us in last time. We just were not ready for it. That looks loads better, I think, having that sort of organic... Uh, approach there. It's a shame we just can't build gravestones in the smaller one. But, you know, so it is. 
And we'll do some uh, decorative trees instead. A bit of a sort of grassy area that people can come and spend time in if they were so wish to see so fit. There we go. Oh, and that'll get rid of those, will it? Okay. Okay. And some bushes to go along with them. Beautiful. What a lovely looking church courtyard. There we go. Okay, so we've got loads of cheese. Look, yeah, it's berries, berries and uh, and everything else. So we, hopefully we can stockpile those a little and keep people happy because we it did not last time. Oh, I quite like the little rough path going to it as well. Going to that well, that's good. Yeah, okay, all right. I'm feeling it, feeling that. Um, tempted to kind of do the same here, although I, I do feel like we, should, we could get away with a couple of houses here. Nobody seems to be interested. That one sort of curves those roads anyway. Um... The only other one we have is here, but we haven't actually got sort of any uh, any spots there for, for, for where we could do it. But what, what we can do, actually, looking at that one, is come up to edit. Um, what are you chewing? What have you got? Thank you. Nothing. You're just making me think you've got something, aren't you? Come up to here. So a couple of these need to go, these stone graves. So that one needs to go there. And that one as well. Yes, okay, very good. All right, and then we'll come up to walls with some hedges, and then we'll take the hedge this way. Um, let's see what we can do. Actually, we can use one of those one of those grass hedges here. That'd be nice, wasn't it? Other grass archways, and keep this quite nice and natural around the back. There we go. There. Let's shave that on in a little. Okay. Okay, have all these. There we go. Alright, let's take the edge off. Take the edge off there. There we go. And then, yeah, here we go. We have that decorative... Uh, where is it? Plant arch. There we go. So we just place that in there. There we go. That looks nice and neat. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Decorative trees then. Oops. Pull those around. Bushes, of course. No promotion today. There we go. There we go. And interesting that actually use that, but that's fine. It looks the part, and we can always adjust that hedge later on if we need to for the surrounding area. But otherwise, we're doing okay. We've got lots of berries coming in. That's good. Bread, cheese, loads of cheese. Uh, fish. How are we doing for fish? 115. Tempted to maybe even get another fish fishery going over here. Let's see if we can squeeze one in. Fishers' hooks. I'm assuming we have people with no jobs. Let's have a look. Uh, job list. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few unemployed, so plenty of room for them. Uh, can we... We can do one there, but that's a bit silly, isn't it? Uh, I suppose here is the way to go, isn't it? Or may maybe look, maybe this one double up. Maybe look like a... Look like a singular larger building. There we go. That'll look good. I'll get another little house built down here as well, then. The hustle and bustle of the city. As it goes onwards. So all we've done at the moment in this episode is place down some trees <laughs> by the churches. But alas, no, we have weapons. Ha ha. One, one blacksmith, is that it? We can only hire one blacksmith. Okay. And I'm hoping, young blacksmith, that you will, you know, work hard. Do as you need to do. 
Uh, one decided to stay. See, I'm tempted now to push the the exit of the town here. This is where they all sit, because this is where they come in from. But now, as we've opened this up, like, they've all started to come down here. Um, I suppose we could have we could have this big entrance here, and then like a little side entrance here with a couple of guards on it or something. I don't know whether that's a possibility even, actually. Um, I'm going to pause that a second. I want to see, who are you? Are you the blacksmith? So she, so the blacksmith, that's the only problem with the blacksmith is she does have to go a fair old way to get the uh, to get the equipment she needs. Now she lives 83 miles from home. Where's her house? So her house is right there. That's uh, that's not bad actually. That is not a bad spot. But you could, I mean, all of this could be residential right now. All of this, all of this. it's actually prime residential here. I will say is maybe just shy that off there in case we do want to do a, a fence of some description. But really, that is that's all prime real estate. She could move if she wanted. So blacksmith, which is your house? This one here. What's your name, blacksmith? See, I could if I do that. Sky is falling. Okay. Here it comes. Miserable weather, no money, no nothing. So we've kicked her out now. I'll be interested to know whether she goes and finds somewhere else to live. She has no home at the moment, look. Fisher's hut's complete, nice. Rose has already jumped at the job. Okay, so Rose. Where do you live, Rose? You live way too far away. I'm going to... I'm going to kick you out of that house. I do wonder if that will... If they will reevaluate where they're living. That looks like a house going up there. Boom! So they do. They do seem to move. She's like built right next to her. <laughs> That's a bit cheeky, actually, building that close. But you know what? That's fine. That's what you want to do. What I could do with, I think, if, the, if, they, if they're going to insist on wanting to live near where they work, is more little places that they can work, right? Because at the moment, we've got markets. They can get set up very easily. I'm assuming the people who work in the market live nearby. Yeah, there you go. So that makes perfect sense. So we can set up little markets. Um, but yeah, really, if I want if I want people to live here, what can I put here that will make them live here? You know, that's, that's the only real thing I'm kind of struggling with at the moment. I quite like how we've got a little spot there. Is there something we can build? What are you? Edit. What have we got that, that we can put down? There's this little camp. Some weapon stands. They look good, don't they? What else? A, 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 gates for no real reason. Um, I like the camp. We've got a camp there. I'm tempted to put a camp there to kind of fill that gap in. Something like that. It will fill that gap nicely. And make good sense. Let's put some of these down. They do have maintenance costs on them, I have noticed, but... We're doing okay. Well, we're not doing okay for money. We're, we're actually going to be having no money soon. But are we now... Oh, hold on. Envoy. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good way of getting cash. What do you want? Five bread? I give you, I give you five bread. All right. I know we shouldn't really be giving food away, but we're going to need that money. So, okay. Swords. That was that was what this was all about, right? There are nine swords there now. Okay, so how do we give people swords? Army manager. Sword. 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 Right. Level 1. Soldier level 1. Can participate in military crimes also prevents robberies? Okay. So how do we level them up? Level 2 is it? Extremely difficult. Easy. View mission. So I'll prepare my troops. 100% chan chance of gold reward. 100 chances of a common reward as well. Okay. Let me think about it. Now my soldiers serve me. Okay. Yes. I'll prepare them right away. So where do we, where do we send people then to do this? Let's give you a sword. Okay. Fully trained. So available mission quest. Accepted mission quest. Assign 
Uh, how, how many? Oh, sorry. How many do we need? Average, average, extreme. Can we get any higher than extreme? Like guaranteed or something? No. Okay. So I want to cancel them all. Soldiers are coming back. Oh no! I didn't want to cancel the whole mission. I just wanted to cancel me selecting them. Quest fails. Yeah, didn't it? So we have an extremely difficult one available. Uh, gold, common, rare, and a weapon one as well, but it's extremely difficult. Okay, now my soul... Uh, let me think about it. Okay, so right, basically we want to get some more soldiers, don't we? So, if we can click that, unemployed only. We can have 13 soldiers hanging out here and doing the thing. Right? So, let's get to army manager. Apparently this is the way to go, right? This is these, these are all untrained. Partly trained. We can give them swords, you see. Okay, so we've got three more swords. Fully trained gets strength of four. We're going to get some more trained up, ready for the big mission. Yes. And eventually, I had to get rid of a couple of buildings here because it was just costing us too much money. Um, I'm thinking maybe an army might cost us money as well. Wooden keep. Oh yeah, we did that, didn't we? Okay. Might cost us money, but yeah, this, here's the problem. We just we lose money because we don't make any money while this horrible storm is here. We've just got to try and weather it without losing too many people. That's the main thing. But people are happy, and they have good supplies of things. All of this green has gone there, so that means we're going to have to do a new extraction zone. It annoys me when those what little dots aren't perfect circles. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can clear out all those little bits, please, next. Yeah, that's what we want. If you will. You might be too far away from them, actually. Uh, I just realised that all of this area really should be extraction zone. 3 decides to join. Well, welcome, welcome. House is complete. That's good. Where are these houses going? Are they over here? Yes, there's a house. Look. All right, lots of real estate space. Look at this. Prime real estate, that as well, I bet. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. Pretty happy, pretty desirable area. Just, you know, nobody's really working there. That's the problem. So everyone's commoners. Do we do we think about making a few? Right. I wonder if we should do like a few. Three, four, five. I'm gonna say that. We've got five commoners, right? We can now do hot farm and brewery. That's good. Oh that's good. We could totally put hops somewhere. Farm. What's a hop farm look like? Nobody's. I don't think anyone wants brewery, but now we might start seeing the cheese sell. <laughs> because I think commoners want cheese. Let's have a look. Who do we have? Uh, people. People. Status. No, not status. Uh, arrival? Claude is a commoner. Claude wants bread and fish. And clothes and religion. Berries and fish, bread and fish, fish and bread. I think actually they want two foods and it's whatever two foods they get, I think. The house is upgrading. Where, where, where? This one. <gasps> what does it upgrade to? It's going to be a super posh house or what? Let's have a look. Oh my word. This is going to be insane. I think it's just actually getting bigger, right? Oh, what on earth is happening to this house? 
Is it just getting built on top of the old one? Or, or, that, or that's what they're doing. They're making it into like a double story one. Oh, yeah. Nice house. Yeah, it was all the same one. What else did we have? Oh, there's another nice one as well. well that's a weird spot for a nice house. But I suppose it's near the church and stuff. This area here, prime. So... So that's... Yeah, that is... So maybe that's the top one they look like. But they just sort of get bigger and a bit more sort of involved and stuff, maybe. I don't know. They seemed happy anyway. We need we only need 10 of them. We do, If you look, we need... Uh, where is it? Estate manager. We need 10... Oh, citizens we need. Oh, so we have commoners. We just can't level up to citizens yet. Well, well let's unlock that trade bonus then. Right, we've got everything at that level now. New military mission is available. Let's see if it's something we can manage. They're all extremely difficult. No, there's an easy one. Okay, right. Let's get on this then. So, first of all, let's have a look at our army manager. Um, let's give them all some swords. There we go. They were, oh, they've all got swords now. Available mission. Easy mission. View mission. I'll prepare troops and send them on straight away. So we'll get a gold and a common reward. Yes. So accepted mission. Here we go. Assign a villager. Anna. Yvette. Edward. Yolande. Go for it. So they will now go off. Is that them, is that them going? No. Nope. They could go that way as well. We have the two sort of these are the two main roads into the town here and here. But they're off, they're going. Soldiers have left. So on failure, we lose minus five, but it doesn't tell us what we gain. Here they, this is them. Look at them go. Whoa, hold on. Where's your hat? You can't go without your hat. No. We're all going without your What is this here? Reserved. Oh, bread. Okay. That's some money changing hands here, though. This is good. It's what we like. There's zero berries in the market. Berries, man. We run out of berries so quick. Do they just not collect them when it's ra when it's raining? Let's just see. Oh, the space is there for staff luck. Get picking them berries, you folks. I wonder what the brain does then. Is it just makes it more difficult to farm stuff? Or what? Because we, you know, they're out there getting it. We've got two there, two there. We've got two down here. I still say we could do a couple down here. I think it's under this building we have berries. Under one of these buildings we have berries. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah, it's under there, look. Tempted to move that. What is that? Is that just a sawmill? Tempted to move to get rid of that sawmill and release the berries. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was me thinking, oh, we don't need that many berries. Uh, let's do... That. Gather a hut. Couple of them over here. There we go. That's six jobs over there for maybe a few houses here, perhaps. Makes sense. I'd come and move in and just have a little walk past the church to get to work. That would suit me. Soldiers are abroad. They're away. Fighting for the glory of Jontyville. I don't, we never name our things, do we? I, I was watching a, a Raptor video the other day. He's a great content creator. Um, and he always, whenever he plays, he calls his places Raptoria. And it's for the glory of Raptoria. And I love it. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I should totally come up with a name <laughs> for, for stuff. And we have like Geektopia, Geek, Geekopolis. But I don't know. Yeah, they never, they never really pop, you know? I don't know. Answers on a postcard, please. What we should... What on earth is happening here? Answers on a postcard, what we should call. That was weird. Uh, Envoy's requesting an audience. What do you want, Envoy? I will help. Oh, 20 fish. How are we doing on fish? 171. Yeah, go on. 
I will assist. Who do we need? Who do we need? Let's have a look. Uh, um, state manager. What do we need? We have two. We have thirty-eight. We have two. So clergy or labour. Um, let's do clergy. We haven't helped them in a while. There you go. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes, I was messing around with the fence here. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's take you to there. Hello. My lord, your troops have been very helpful regarding the matter with our evil neighbours. That said, the matter seems far from being resolved yet and we still need your support. Um, maybe another sign. Keep, keep my troops with you. Send soldiers to help the king. Difficulty average, distance far, success probability average. So they they just stay straight out, do they, or what? Um, let's just clean this up. Okay. So is that a new mission now? Then let's have a look. No, not you. You is that a new mission? Available mission list. Extremely difficult. Accepted mission. No, so they're, they're still out there, right? So is it like a risk it for a biscuit? Sort of do you carry on or come back? A bit of a sort of choose your own adventure type kind of thing. That seems to me uh, what it is. Okay. Gather our huts are done. Nice. Okay, so I'm hoping... Oh, that's not finished yet. So I'm hoping they, they just goes, that just goes back to work. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Two there. Okay few spaces so I'm hoping then when it comes to the end of the uh, the time they I'll say they should just fill back up again eh? right yeah the carpenters have just come back to work there okay so I'm hoping when it comes to the end of the month and we get to upload people upgrade people we will have a few more serfs to, to fill in and, and maybe they'll come and sort of fill this space in here that'd be nice Indiana, come on. Chewing wood, please. I think our puppy is going through a bit of a teething stage. Choose anything she can get her hands on right now. Or get her mouth round, at least, I should say. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. I've just realised how long this video is going for. My word. Okay. Uh, yeah, next one, hopefully we'll weather the storm. I might try and let the storm run over and start the next episode at the end of it because you can't really do that much. But people are happy. People are happy. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good. 